Another key feature of all programming languages is some way of running sections of code repeatedly by looping through certain lines of code according to some rule governing how many times and under what conditions they should be run. Using loops, programs can perform repetitive work very quickly, and loops form a very important part of many programming tasks. In this video, we'll look at two types of loop, while loops and for loops. Make a new text file and save it as loops.php, again in the PHP Demos folder. Inside PHP tags, type $count equals 1. We've just assigned the value of 1 to a variable called $count. While, and then inside parentheses, $count less than or equal to 10. In the parentheses, open curly braces, which will auto-close. Echo dollar count, and then a concatenating dot, and then inside double quotes, an HTML line break tag, and the semicolon at the end. And on the line after that, dollar count equals dollar count plus one. What do you think this does? It prints out the numbers from 1 to 10 with line breaks in between. Going through it line by line, first we assign the value of 1 to the variable dollar count. Then we start the loop to run while the variable dollar count is less than or equal to 10. So the code inside the braces will run while dollar count is less than or equal to 10, and it will not run once it gets above that. Inside the curly braces, first of all, we echo out the value of count with that line break. Then we add 1 to the value of dollar count, using dollar count equals itself plus 1. So the first time through, dollar count is 1, because it's set here, and 1 is printed out, followed by a line break, using the concatenating dot that we've learnt about. Dollar count has 1 added to it and becomes 2. The while condition is still true, so it runs again, prints out 2, adds 1 to the value of dollar count again, and so on. This continues until the value of dollar count is 10. The loop runs one last time and adds 1 to make dollar count 11, at which point the condition is no longer true, so the loop stops. It's common to change the incrementing function dollar count equals dollar count plus 1 to a shorthand version, dollar count plus plus, which does exactly the same thing. That's the while loop. The for loop is a refinement of the while loop. It removes the need for the count number to be incremented manually each time, but the code in the condition is a bit more involved. Type in for parentheses dollar count equals 1 semicolon dollar count less than or equal to 10 semicolon dollar count plus plus. Then inside the curly braces echo dollar count concatenating dot, and then an HTML line break tag inside double quotes. This does exactly the same thing as the while loop, but it sets the initial value of dollar count, the maximum value of dollar count, and the amount to increment it by each time the loop runs, all in the condition. Notice that the three parts of the condition, the initial value, the final value, and the increment value, must occur in this order, and must be separated by semicolons. We will use both for and while loops in our project to display data. Your assignment this time is a bit trickier. To print out a block of asterisks like this, 20 columns wide and 10 rows high, using loops, either for loops or while loops, whichever you prefer. This is going to take a little bit more programming thought than your previous assignments, so we'll see how you do. And the answer, as always, is in the working files entitled block of asterisks.php